as a sister of Loretto, it is my privilege to thank you for coming to celebrate Pancratia Hall's new life. With those words, Sister Mary Nell Gage welcomed community members to celebrate the grand opening of the Pancratia Hall Lofts in Southwest Denver. These 72 affordable homes are the first in a series of projects that will breathe new life into the historic Loretto Heights campus. I'm just so happy that this is the first thing that we're celebrating here. It really celebrates community. Not only that, it celebrates the spirit of Loretto, service to the community. The Sisters of Loretto called this 70 acre site home for 100 years. Founded in 1888 by Mother Pancratia Bonfies, the site housed and educated generations of students until Loretto Heights College closed in 1988. 1988 they left here, but their heart is still here. So to have the former dormitory classroom building become housing for first-year teachers still find a home here in the catholic tradition may 12 today is the feast of saint pancras don't we know that pancratia is watching over this new life the site was home to Takeo Loretto Heights College and then Colorado Heights College from 1989 to 2017. Once the college closed, the site faced an uncertain future. But Councilman Kevin Flynn immediately formed a steering committee to determine what would become of the area. So we can't let this campus go the way of so much that we've seen around the country that falls apart that's historic, that carries our legacy, carries our history. We can't lose this. What does the community want this to be? I'm standing here today in front of the very first thing that was important to people, and that was to house working families, because that's what the spirit of Loretto was all about. What followed was a public-private partnership that included extensive community outreach and engagement. The direction has always been to acknowledge the legacy of the Sisters of Loretto. Our goal was very simple. Respect what was started on these grounds 134 years ago by Mother Pancratia and create a natural project that lifts its community and celebrates its history. All aspects of the community voice challenge the project to stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. Because of the process of listening to community voice, the project does have a spirit. That is not to say that the community members, the Sisters of Loretto, or the city received 100% of what they were seeking. In many cases, we had opposing wishes that simply were impossible to coexist. But again, the results are amazing whereas everybody got something. The result of the process are 72 affordable units from studios to four bedrooms that can all be had from 30 to 80% of the area median income. Families can live here, folks. Families can live here. That is something to celebrate. Families can live here. The units are all unique and display the charm and character of the building. This includes the breathtaking four bedroom unit that was once home to the chapel. You can see behind me we have historically preserved lighting as well as uh, re-glazed and preserved uh, windows. Uh, as Hartman Ely Investments is very good at historic preservation and pays great attention to detail. Now I'm in somebody's kitchen and dining room. Uh, and that's just the beauty of creativity shown in affordable housing here in Denver. These units are just the start, as the future holds many more opportunities for both this campus and other affordable housing in our city. I'm also proud to tell you that together with our partners, we have a strong pipeline of other affordable housing projects. Today, a total of 1,202 affordable housing units that have received city financing are under construction, our preservation, at 25 different sites throughout the city of Denver. We have an additional 779 affordable homes in the planning stage, anticipated to break ground approximately sometime this year, so I'll be at another ceremony. And so today, 
This is no short feat. We take one step forward with 72 units, recognizing the opportunity to house our families who are housing insecure. Sometime in the future, this is going to be such a vibrant community. There's going to be senior housing. There's going to be the performing arts. There's going to be community center. There's going to be workforce housing. There's going to be housing for people who are pretty well to do, frankly, because that's the kind of community we're trying to build down here. Stay elevated by subscribing to the city's YouTube page and stay tuned to our social media channels for more content. Don't miss our new episodes of Elevating Denver, premiering each month. Thanks for watching, Denver.